I found out about Arizona Breast Cancer Specialist through Dr. Victor Zanis. He was my lumpectomy doctor, cutie patootie too. And uh, he told me I had to come see Dr. Kuski. And I was so grateful he did. The reason why I chose or stuck with Dr. Kuski is the first time we met him, he sat down with both my husband and I for a good hour, hour and a half, just chatting about normal, fun, day-to-day -day things. Then he took his time explaining what he does. Everyone was so sweet and nice, and he's a hugger. I'm a hugger, so he just makes you feel warm and cozy. So I really, I really do enjoy him. ABC completely fulfilled all my expectations about it and above and beyond. It was uh, amazing because the fact that I didn't have to do radiation, only just the two-week time with leaving the catheters in there and cutting down normal radiation time from what they can be nine weeks longer, that was fabulous. I had um, gotten an augmentation after children, <laughs> and um, then when Dr. Zanis told me there would be an easier way to speak with Dr. Kuski, that's when they put the catheters in, even with my augmentation there, and he was so cautious and precise, and uh, it was just a wonderful experience because he knew exactly what he was doing with his cameras and following through for putting in the catheters, leaving them in there, and it just made it such a really good experience. I did not know anything about brachytherapy until I got here with Dr. Kuski, and now I tell everybody about brachytherapy <laughs> because it's the best thing. It really is the best thing. I love it. Being a mom 24-7, I was still able to do my mom duties. I would get tired and go to bed earlier, but I was still able to um, do my normal things, go to the grocery store, I just more low-key and laid low a little bit more that, rather than my normal speed, but I was still able to do all of my normal stuff. You know, it was not bad. Uh, after the catheters were in, um, cleaning them every day, twice a day was easy. I drove myself twice a day to hook myself up to the radiation when they did the treatment. That was easy. Um, it was it was just a very good experience for such a horrible thing to have to do. And I think the hardest part was not being able to take a shower for two weeks. I hated that part. But otherwise, it was it was very uh, very nice because everyone was friendly. The staff was friendly. We always chatted and uh, it was quick and easy. The billing part was here was phenomenal. Insurance companies are always a pain in the butt, but uh, here it was a very easy experience of letting us know what the paperwork it was involved, how much certain things would cost if the insurance didn't cover it, but they did a full breakdown and made sure both my husband and I understood everything and it was just an automatic easy. So cause you cannot put a price tag on your health. So I was like, I'm all over it. Oh, it's huge. My gosh, it's great to know that um, I've been through something so icky that I'm still here, I'm not going anywhere, not planning on going anywhere, and there's so many people around us that uh, if something does ever happen again, God forbid, I know I have Dr. Kuski, Dr. Zanis, and all my dream team staff, if you will, to uh, continue forward, definitely. But I, I will definitely keep plugging along and have a positive mental attitude because that's, that's what's going to keep everybody surviving this.